All right, so today we'll be looking at the Meister Shield Wind Sun Sensor. So we'll just go ahead and open up the box. And you have, of course, the Wind Sun Sensor itself. Place that there. Also included in the box is the hardware kit. So the hardware kit has two anchors for the wall, and two screws for mounting. All right, move that out of the way. So the wind sensor itself does exactly what its name states. It senses wind, which will raise your screen depending on what you have your wind setting to, and it senses sun. So it, the UV rays, if it's too hot out, it'll lower your screens and protect your outdoor furniture. All right, so let's go into charging. To charge this, you pop this cap off and you have a charging port right here. This charging port is a USB-C and also it's solar power as well. So if this sensor is placed outdoors, it can charge itself. Also you have the mounting hole right here that's underneath these caps and you have it on the other side as well. I'll go ahead and show you that now. And these caps just slide on like so. Just line that up and it pops right back on. On the other side, pop that off and you have your little mounting hole right there. Go ahead and pop this cap back on. And of course, it also folds all the way forward and all the way back to help with mounting. Just a quick note, we'll be talking about the compatibility of this particular wind sun sensor. We do offer two of them. This one is the BDSN SNSR model. So this model is only for the MSDD motors. Quick way to tell which motor you have is by looking at what remote came with the motor. Your remote either looks like this, or this, you have an MSDD motor. This sensor does not work with an MS or an MSD motor. This sensor only works with the MSDD motors. All right, next we'll be working on pairing the sensor to the motor. Again, it has to be the MSBD motor and able to pair with the BDSNSR wind sun sensor. So, first we'll activate pairing mode with our remote. So, you take this guy, turn your remote around, pop the battery cover off, and you will hold down what is labeled P2. Both of these are P2, you can hold down either or while pointing it at your motor. So here I'll hold it down. And you'll show the motor in jogging in the next clip. So once it jogs and then beats, you again press P2 once more. Like so, and the motor will jog and beep another time. Once the motor is jogged and beeped twice, you'll go ahead and put back together your controller or remote, place that there, and you'll grab your wind sun sensor. Now, you'll just hold down the P2 right there, and the motor will jog twice and beep three times, like in the clip next. Once your motor's jogged twice and beeped three times, the sun sensor is now paired to the motor. Next, we'll work on setting the values. All right, 
So now we will set our wind and sun intensity levels. To do this, just press this button right here to get the screen going. And currently you can press A, which will show you the current intensity. So it's reading live data. Press it again, one more time. So you can see a little flag. That's how much wind it's sensing right now. If I spin it, it'll change values. And that's of course in kilometers an hour. Press that one more time. And that's the sun intensity value. They use as Lux to measure sun intensity. I'll go in that a little bit later, but let's get setting our intensity values. So to do that, we will hold the M for two seconds. Once it starts flashing like so, you can either increase or decrease your values. Right now, it's set on the wind intensity. You can tell by the little flag right there. So by pressing up, it increases the value. That would be kilometers an hour for wind. So say I wanted my screens to go up when it is 5.5 .5 kilometers an hour outside. That's, you would increase using up or oop, go back to it again. Just press that or you use A to decrease values. So I had it at 5.5, so I'll use up, get to 5.5, that's what I want it at. So you'll press M again, that sets that value, okay? Now let's hold M again. And this will be, hold M again, this up. So now we are on sun intensity. This is measured by Lux. I will talk about that more later. But again, we'll just press up to increase the value or down to decrease the value. And once you have the value you want, you just press in once and now it's, now it is set. All right. Just a quick note, when your wind sun sensor reads the amount over what you set, whether it be your sun level or your wind level, it'll act upon that. So if you set your wind intensity level to say eight kilometers an hour, it will actually raise the screen to prevent damage to the retractable screen system. If you set your sun intensity level to 30 lux, then it will lower the screen system. And this is done just to prevent either heat damage to whatever is behind the screen, whether it's outdoor furniture or whatever it may be, the screen will lower when it reaches above the set limit for the sun and the screen will raise when it reaches the above the set limit for the wind. So earlier we were talking about setting our values and using lux and kilometers per hour for sun and wind respectively. So you might be asking yourself, what is lux? Lux is just the measurement of sun intensity. Our wind sun sensor ranges from zero to a hundred lux. So what I would recommend is setting your sun sensor to around 80 lux. Another option is to press A on your wind sun sensor right here. And it will be showing current values. We're indoors right now, so it's reading zero, but just on a sunny day, bring it outside, press A, see the current value, and then set it accordingly to what the weather is outside. Uh, for kilometers an hour to set that, you can either convert it to miles per hour or you could go off of a, 
a light breeze would be around six kilometers an hour. So just go based off of that to set both your lux value and your wind intensity value. All right, now we'll be talking about mounting methods for the wind sun sensor. Earlier I showed that these caps pop off like so, and it exposes the mounting holes. And you would just use the screws provided and anchors as well, depending on what you're installing it on. But there is The recommendations for mounting. Obviously you want to mount this sensor outside, but you also want to keep in mind that it, this sensor performs best and has the most accurate readings when it is mounted perpendicular to the ground there, just like so, straight up and down just like that. You can also mount it on a wall and it's recommended to mount it with the back exposed to the sun. This sensor here measures your sun intensity so you want that facing towards the sun. And like I said before you can also mount it so it's like this. You can also mount it like that as well. And of course, you just use the screws provided and bolt it up through the mounting holes under those caps. Just make sure you don't mount it with the buttons facing towards the sun. Your sun intensity reader right here will get inaccurate readings and it'll cause all your values to be off. All right, so that's all we have for you today on the Maestro Shield Wind Sun Sensor. Thank you for joining us and have a good one.